Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julie and I am a Filipino teacher currently based here in Montana, USA. If you are interested to know more about how to become a teacher here in the US, I upload weekly videos about this topic, so please consider subscribing. And also, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you would receive the latest updates on my videos. Montana is a beautiful state with its laid back atmosphere, breathtaking natural beauty, and wonderful people. I hope that when you finally decide to try your luck and teach here in the United States, you might want to consider the beautiful state of Montana as your first step. For today's video, I am going to share what I know about applying as a teacher here in Montana, USA. But before I begin, please bear in mind that what I share here in my platform are based on my own experiences and research. Please practice due diligence in conducting additional researches about this topic. Let's get into it. So the first step in applying as a teacher here in Montana is to browse the official website of the OPI Montana or the Office of Public Instruction. The OPI is the Education Bureau here in Montana, in the state of Montana. Um, if you were from the Philippines like me, it is like our Department of Education in the Philippines. So in the OPI website, you will find abundant information about the education system in Montana, and that includes job offers for teachers. So um, the sad part is the last time that I checked uh, the OPI website when I was still in the Philippines, it cannot be accessed from the Philippines because it's, it states that it's region restricted. So um, that means that um, some specific countries cannot access this website um, unless unless you use a VPN um, to to log on to it. So um, yeah, so the 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 one way to access the um, OPI website is by using a VPN. But of course, not everyone can can um, have the VPN. Um, and it's quite tricky to navigate a uh, VPN for some. So um, in this um, channel, good news, I would like to share good news to you that in this channel, I will post job offers um, that were published or that are published in the website of OPI Montana. So please stay tuned so that you will be updated with the latest job postings in the state of Montana. So let's get into the actual steps on how to apply as a school teacher here in Montana. Based on my experience, I can say that there are five steps that you need to go through. So the first step, of course, I already mentioned it, uh, that you have to check the OPI website. So that is opi.mt.org gov or gov so um once you checked or logged on to that website you will um go to the job offers for teachers there at the bottom part um maybe i will just um put the actual picture in in this uh, side so that you would know how to navigate the website so um once that you have found uh, the job offers there for teachers, of course, you need to um, look for the schools that are offering your subject area. And so um, another thing that you have to um, do once you got that school that offers your subject area is to also check and ba background check about the area of the school. So of course, you want to be in a school that is um, that that is safe uh, or that is uh, relatively safe it has a safe neighborhood and it also um you would also try to think about whether you want to be in a city or in a country uh setup 
So that's also one thing that you have to consider when you choose your your school. So uh, once you are uh, you already settled yourself with these aspects or with these considerations, you also check about the details that they provided for that job position. So sometimes they would um, give um, the salary information there. So you would also check their uh, their offered salary and their offer and the job descriptions what are you expected to do as as uh, what what are you expected to do for that particular position or particular teaching position so those are the things that you will find when you log on to um, OPI website and you browsed the schools that are offering teaching positions so after that, once you chose your school, you finally chosen a school where you can apply to, you have to, of course, um, be aware of the requirements that they would ask they that they would ask from you. So in general, schools would ask for your detailed resume, your transcript of records, your application letter three reference letters, and other requirements depending on the districts. So um, I would just um, advise that the TOR or the transcript of records that you provide to them would be the latest. Okay, yeah. Please provide your latest transcript of records because it is where the school district would base your salary. Okay, um, And also... Um, after that, of course, you need to just wait until schools would contact you. And uh, when that day finally comes, um, you have to prepare for an online interview and an online demo. Okay, so um, for those who are asking what to expect or how to prepare for a demo, um, I would probably make another video for that. And uh, but in a nutshell, of course, you have to show off, uh, show your, show off, not show off. Um, you have to show your skills as a teacher and they need to see that you're able to um, teach well in your uh, respective subject area. Um, so um, I would advise that you follow the, the format that we have, we've, we've, um, we've been following in the Philippines. If you're a Filipino teacher like me. Because here in the U.S., um, there, well, in my case, in my personal experience and in my school right now, they're not very much into the structure. Um, they would, uh, they, of course, we would still follow the, the traditional setup, like there, there needs to be a motivation, there needs to be a presentation of the lesson and the subject matter itself and the generalization and and evaluation. So those key aspects uh, should appear in your demonstration um, because if you follow that structure, the, the interviewer or the principal, the principal and other people from the school that would watch your, your demo would be able to see what you can offer to the school and to the students. And so um, if there are particular um, format that they would prefer, um, of course, you will learn it eventually when you got get hired. But the another safe way to um, to another safe way to conduct your demo is to just ask them beforehand um, if they have preferred format or preferred structure or if they have a certain structure uh, in their school with regard to the lesson preparation. So, um, of course, you would exchange correspondence with the school. Um, so just make sure that you communicate well with them before your actual online interview and demo. You ask for things like the, the format of the demo, um, what to... Um, of course, regarding your online interview, you have to be to uh, to look uh, You have to dress appropriately, and you have to have a um, you have to have a um, 
quiet background so that you won't be distracted with unnecessary noise. So we'll probably dedicate a separate video on that. So that's the third part. You have to prepare for the online interview and online demo. So the fourth one would be to prepare for your visa application and you will look for your visa sponsor. So assuming that you are already hired by your um, your uh, prospective school, so uh, they would send you a job offer. So it's very important for you to wait for the job offer letter from the school. Um, job offer letter means that the school is is officially hiring you and uh, you have to uh, make sure that in the in the job offer letter you will find there your um the expectations of you as their school teacher so you will see there in the job offer letter you should see there the subject that you will teach um the salary that you will be getting and uh and other information that that you need to know about being a teacher in that school. So if you have any concerns about the job offer let about the job offer letter that they send you, you you are or you should uh, let them know and communicate with them before you sign it. Of course, you have to read carefully the job offer letter before you actually sign it. So um, once you receive that off job offer letter, you now have to um, look for visa sponsor. Um, if you are going through a direct hiring process, it will be you who will look for a visa sponsor. But if you are under an agency, the agency will help look for visa sponsor for you. Or they will do um, the looking for visa sponsors. So in my case, I am a direct hired, uh, I, I, I am, a, I'm, I am direct hired. So I was the one who looked for my own visa sponsor and it, it, I didn't find it difficult to look for visa sponsor because my husband here, um, is already teaching for, for one year and he already had contacts with some visa sponsor. So it was a very smooth process for me. And so after that, once you have your, your visa sponsor, the visa sponsor will send you a document called DS-2019. And in that DS-2019, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a document that states that you are officially a G1 teacher uh, bound to teach in the U.S. So it's like, it's like uh, your permit to teach here in the U.S. It's a very important document because the DS-2019 document to be given by your visa sponsor will be presented during the U.S. Embassy interview, which is the last, the last um, step in applying for or in applying to become a teacher in the U.S. So the final step would be the U.S. Embassy interview. So once you receive your DS-2019 from the visa sponsor, that's the time that you can actually set an interview with the U.S. Embassy. So the the U.S. Embassy interview um, can only be done uh, on an appointment basis. You cannot just run, you cannot just walk in there and ask to be interviewed. So you have to set an appointment and uh, once you are done with setting an appointment with them, you have to present your passport with your DS-2019. And again, I will, I will make another video, an ex an, a dedicated video for the U.S. Embassy interview process. So to recap all the steps that you have to go through to apply as a school teacher here in the U.S., again, step one. You have to um, check the websites. You have to check websites uh, of different states of uh, uh, here in the U.S. And I am speaking for the state of Montana because this is where I teach. So the step one is to check opi.mt.gov okay, or gov. And then step two would be to um, look for schools 
um, that you want to teach in and check the information and pass the requirements. Step three, um, you have to prepare for the online interview or online demo of the school that called you, called you back. And then step four would be to look for visa sponsors and you have to apply for visa. Um, so uh, this is assuming that a school already gave you a job offer letter. And finally, step five, you have to um, prepare for the U.S. Embassy interview. And once you're done with the U.S. Embassy interview, you will receive um, a response from them that you're approved. And now you can finally book your flight going to the U.S. I hope that this video um, helped you in your journey to become a teacher here in the U.S. And I hope that this video put more value in your research uh, when it comes to um, applying as, as a teacher here in the U.S. So um, please, again, I'd like to appeal that you like and subscribe this video so that you will be updated with all the uh, videos that I'll be uploading uh, with regard to teaching here in the U.S. So thank you very much for uh, for dedicating your time and I'll see you on the next video.